Puerto Escondido is a beautiful beach town in Oaxaca, Mexico, filled with gorgeous white sand beaches, crystal clear waters, laid back culture, friendly locals, a wide variety of cafes and restaurants, all at affordable prices, making it quite possibly one of the best locations in the world for digital nomad living. In today's video, I want to share with you a breakdown of our monthly living costs in Puerto Escondido so you have a better idea and guide for planning your stay here. All of the costs I will be sharing are based on two people living together for one month or 30 days, and then I will break it down per person at the end. If you enjoy this video and want to see more digital nomad content like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can easily access Puerto Escondido by airplane, bus, or car. We flew in from Mexico City, which was an easy flight of a little over an hour. You can find direct flights from Mexico City for as low as $30 per person each way from what I've seen. When you land, you will have the option to take a taxi or a shared van. The taxi runs around 300 pesos while the shared van is 70 pesos per person and will also take you directly to your accommodation. The airport is at furthest 20 minutes from any given point in Puerto Escondido. If you come by bus, you're also in luck because the bus station is right in the center of Puerto Escondido so it will be easy for you to hop on a colectivo for 10 pesos or grab a taxi for around 100 pesos to your place. I won't be including any of these costs into the monthly total as they will differ for everyone in our one-time expenses. Let's start with accommodation. We were here during the month of February, which is the high season and runs from November to March. This is their dry season, so accommodation options were more limited and higher priced than if you were to come during their off-season months. There are several neighborhoods in Puerto Escondido you can choose to live in, but we narrowed our search down to La Punta as it has a laid back vibe with a nice beach and lots of cool bars and restaurants to choose from. We wanted to stay for a month and looked at numerous hotel and apartment options. Quick tip, if you're planning to stay for a week or more, make sure you contact the properties directly as we found most places have better rates for long-term guests. We wanted something basic, close to the beach and preferably with a kitchen. We ended up finding a place that fit our needs for 15,000 pesos per month. It's a basic room in a hotel with a lot of longer term guests, a nice pool, and less than a five minute walk from the beach. While we don't have our own private kitchen, we do have a shared one, which is enough for us. The hotel is super central and a stone's throw from all the bars and restaurants, but also far enough away where we don't hear the noise at night. In comparison to other accommodations we looked at, this one had the best value in terms of what it offered. The others we looked at were either already booked out, were higher priced, or less expensive, but less comfortable or further out of town. My best advice would be to book accommodation as far in advance as possible especially if you're coming during the high season. Our total for one month accommodation was $407 per person. Also, a quick tip to note about Wi-Fi in Puerto Escondido, don't assume that your accommodation will have good Wi-Fi. We had problems with ours and heard of several other people having the same experience at other accommodations. Before booking, I would recommend checking Wi-Fi related reviews or asking the property directly about their Wi-Fi speeds. Let's talk about food. We cooked about a third of our meals and ate out the rest of the time. There are so many good restaurants all around Puerto Escondido, ranging from authentic cheap eats to trendy gourmet restaurants. At the local taco shops, you can expect to find street tacos for around 15 pesos a piece. At the local Mexican restaurants, you can get a big plate for around 100 pesos. And at the restaurants serving specialty cuisines, the prices are typically a bit higher, ranging anywhere from 150 to 300 pesos per plate on average. When we cooked ourselves, we made a lot of veggie stir fries and salads and typically spent around 100 pesos total on ingredients between the two of us for the entire meal. Most days, I also went out to work at a cafe and drink a coffee, which was around 75 pesos. We enjoyed mixing up our routine and trying different places of all different price ranges. And on average, we spent about 500 pesos per day on food between the two of us. Our grand total per person per month for food was $407. 
One more thing to add on to the food category is water. In most kiosks, you can buy a liter of bottled water for 20 pesos, but we discovered you can instead buy a 20 liter jug of water for 18 pesos, so 20 times the amount of water for two pesos less. Seems crazy, right? Just make sure to keep the jug and bring it back each time to exchange it for a new one because you will pay a one-time deposit when you buy the first jug. We ran through two 20 liter jugs per week making our total cost for water per person to be $4 per month. One of the reasons we love Puerto Escondido is because it's a super walkable town. You can get pretty much anywhere in Puerto Escondido in about an hour and a half by foot, and La Punta you are within 15 minutes walking to just about everything. The whole area is great for walking because most streets, aside from the main road, aren't congested with cars and scooters, so it's very pedestrian friendly. But there are, of course, times when you want to get somewhere quick and not have to walk. This is when the Colectivo is great. The Colectivo is basically a small bus or a shared taxi that drives up and down the main road all day long. To catch the Colectivo, you can walk up to the main road to one of the designated stops and flag them down. If you don't know where to go, just ask a local where the bus stop is and they will for sure know. You can get on and off almost anywhere by hitting the button alerting the driver to stop. There are dozens of Colectivos driving at any given time and the cost to go one way is 10 pesos per person. You can get just about anywhere along the main road in Puerto Escondido within 15 minutes on the Colectivo and then you'll just have a short walk to your final destination from there. The Colectivo was our primary transportation method when we didn't feel like walking. We used it to visit several beaches, supermarkets, and restaurants and on average took it about three times per week and spent 20 pesos each round trip. Another option you have is to rent a scooter. It would be very convenient to have one here, however it isn't necessary like it is in other places such as Bali, for example. It's a great option if you plan on traveling all around Puerto Escondido on a daily basis or heading further out of town. The cost to rent one is around 200 pesos per day, and we've heard of people renting monthly for around 4,000 pesos per month. The other option is to take taxis around everywhere, however, this is by far the most expensive. It can add up quickly, especially if you're traveling solo or as a couple, as taxi rides around town are about 100 pesos for a 10 minute ride. I recommend using taxis exclusively for when you're carrying a lot of luggage or if it's late at night. The final option is to rent a car. This option might make sense for bigger groups or families traveling around who want the most convenient and safest way to get around. Rental cars start at around 500 pesos per day. We personally walked and used the Colectivo the whole time we were here. While normally we would rent a scooter, we didn't feel it necessary this time and we really enjoyed walking around everywhere. It allowed us to discover places we might not have noticed on a scooter and it was also super nice to get tons of exercise from walking. Our total transportation cost for the month, $13 per person. Getting a SIM card here is convenient and affordable. We went to the nearby OXO convenience store and purchased ours there. We bought the OXO cell service and paid 29 pesos for the SIM chip and 200 pesos for six gigabytes of data valid for 30 days. We just bought one SIM card to use in one of our phones as it's easy to share the hotspot between each other. Our total SIM card costs were $12 in total or split in half between two of us, $6 each. Laundromats seem to be on just about every block. We were doing laundry weekly and paying 20 pesos per kilo. Our weekly bill was around 60 pesos, so our monthly total for laundry was $13 or $6.50 each. Whenever we travel, we like to make sure we are protected in case any emergencies arise. If something unexpected happens and you're caught without travel insurance, it can be a catastrophe. So. For peace of mind, we use Safety Wing Nomad Insurance and pay $45 per month to keep us covered. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Our total travel insurance costs are $45 per person per month. In the entertainment category, I've included things like excursions, activities, going out for drinks, random purchases like candy, ice cream, or beers, etc. Obviously, this category will vary greatly from person to person depending on individual desires and budget. Just for an idea of how much these things might cost, I will give you a few examples. A half-day group snorkeling tour adventure out on a boat will run around 300 pesos per person. A surfboard rental is around two to 300 pesos per day. 
A beer from the market is around 20 pesos and 30 pesos in a restaurant. Margaritas out at a restaurant range from 29 pesos at the cheapest up to 150 pesos depending on the place. In this category, we spent a total of 3,500 pesos per month between the two of us, so $95 per person. So now for our final cost of living for one month, our total was 16,377 pesos or $888 per person. Now let's add in the entertainment costs. And again, since they're variable, they will differ for each person. Our total with entertainment was 18,127 pesos or $983 per person. So yes, it is possible to live in Puerto Escondido for under $1,000 per month and live very well. If you guys have been here before and have any tips or suggestions, please don't hesitate to share them in the comments to help our fellow nomads out. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos with digital nomad tips. You can also find me on Instagram at the nomad next door where I share more of my daily experiences. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.